Hey, what's up, y'all? Welcome back to our channel. It's, it's DXA. And we are so excited to be back in our living room. Yes. With you guys one more time. So, we're just doing a vlog update just to see where our hair is at. Both of our hair is in, what do you call it, twist? Not, rope twist. Rope twist, yeah. yeah. We're gonna basically take down our hair, take off your do-rag. Yeah. Mm. Um, since we've been on quarantine, I haven't done anything really to my hair. Me neither. Um, babe, I just did your hair. You didn't just do it. Well, a couple weeks. Think about it. Well, a few weeks into quarantine. <laughs> How long have you did my hair? On the 31st of March. You sure it's the 31st? Yes, I have pictures, date stamped. Oh, okay. Anyways, so he did my hair too. He rope twist my entire head and I have, like in numbers, I have more locks than him. So he rope twist my whole head, guys. It took me like three days. And I loved it, I loved how it turned out. Um, well, I could have finished in one night, but you got tired. I was over it, I really don't like doing my hair. <laughs> I don't have the patience. Next month will make a year since I've had locks. And your locks are pretty long. Your locks are far longer than when you initially started. Yeah, that's yeah. true. It's the same thing with you though. You, you feel like your hair is not growing. And you don't really see the growth until you start looking at some old pictures. I think that's why it's good if you're doing, you know, the journey of having locks to definitely, definitely take pictures. Or sometimes you get discouraged. And if you don't have somebody, you know, like me, beating up your And that's now. really like... <laughs> Telling her that her hair is growing up, growing. Yeah, so really, with any hair journey, really, it's not just locks because I know when my hair was like loose natural, I didn't realize how much it was actually growing until I like blew it out and my hair would be like down here and I'm just like, oh my gosh, it is growing. It just, I have like shrinkage, OD shrinkage. So, all right, I'm already tired. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Me either. <laughs> I can't see. Like, we should have put a mirror out here. I will get a mirror. What's one thing you miss about loose natural hair? Oh, there is a bunch of things I miss about loose natural hair. One thing I definitely miss is like a style that I used to do all the time that I can't do anymore because, well, I can, but my hair is not long enough to do it right now. I'd have to wait for my locks to grow out a little bit longer and that's like pulling my hair all the way back Licking it down with some gel and oh yeah, I used to do that hair a lot. I used to do that hair style a lot. Like that was my go-to, and I really loved it because it just looked. I like when your hairstyles look neat, and I like when it just looks elegant, you know. And that was like a quick, elegant go-to, even though it was mad work because <laughs> my hair is dumb thick <laughs> and. I I'm a slap on my jet, a whole bunch of gel. I guess really all that I really miss about loose natural hair is the hairstyles. I don't really miss detangling. I don't miss wash days. I don't miss, oh Lord, I don't miss um twisting it, twist outs. So what's one thing you, you would uh, tell someone who's thinking about getting locks, like, but they're kind of scared? Well, I mean, locks them. isn't for everyone, so I wouldn't really, if they're scared, I'm like, I But you, they want to do it, but you know, they don't know how the journey is going to be, or they feel like, oh, they don't want to go through, you know, everyone I think is fearful of that, that stage that they call it the ugly stage, which is really not an ugly stage. It's not. I feel like self-acceptance self is really a big thing before you even venture off on any type of hairstyle, especially like a natural hairstyle such as locks, because your hair is in its, truest form in the sense where you're not doing anything to it to really manipulate it we get our hairstyles done like we got our hairstyles done but as far as like letting it grow we don't we don't use much the most we use in our hair is water and oils so do you feel like locks are high maintenance because sometimes there's i feel there, like certain sometimes locks. sometimes there's like misconceptions that you know oh yeah people feel like if they get locks it's not going to take a lot but um from my experience speaking I think that sister locks are high maintenance, which is what I originally wanted, and they are expensive to upkeep. However, you can learn how to interlock. I feel like our locks that we have, I don't feel like they're high maintenance. I feel like they're extremely low maintenance. I probably wash my hair once a month um, professionally, and then maybe another time, maybe me washing it before I go to the hairstylist or something like that. It's not the same as if, as if I were to have loose natural hair, let's say I want to go get box braids. 
you gotta buy 12 pack of hair. <laughs> Maybe that's like $20, no biggie, but $24. And then on top of that, you have to go buy maybe um local edge control to upkeep and then you have to pay the hairstylist so you're looking at another hundred and plus whatever so i feel like it's just and then you take that on in like four weeks and then it's on to the next style with locks the most i do is just get we just get our styles and that's it like for me i do miss like sometimes having the that i had a fro and the fade so i miss the fro sometimes I miss um, my afro sometimes. Yeah, so yeah I, I do, definitely miss my afro. I definitely miss that. But I mean, for me, I guess because I only have a half head of locks, so I don't have a full. S yeah, you still have your fade on the side, so. So, I mean, I still get the you know the best of both worlds, but it wasn't much of a change for me. If anything, it was less maintenance um, than the fro, because the fro, you know, you gotta have it. I wanna pat it a certain way to make sure it look nice and neat. But okay, mm. so you're asking me positive questions. I want to mm. veer off a little bit. And um, have you had any negative comments or unwelcomed or unwarranted comments towards your natural hair in the state that it's been in with the locks this far? Uh, as far as like at work, I'm trying to think of anything negative. I feel like you haven't had any. I think I, I feel like people have loved your hair because you always listen. If there's one person that can keep a hairstyle, it's this guy. <laughs> like you, your styles last you. Oh, this is so cute. Yeah. This is so cute. The little waves, but I don't feel like all my head is like that. I feel like some of them were already coming out, so the yes. waves are kind of gone from some. Zoom in, let's zoom in. <laughs> it's like a little curly. Got a look of it. Look of it curly. Yeah, I haven't I haven't had much. Um, but then again, for me, sometimes I be, I'm not even gonna lie, sometimes I be so naive to people's comments that they're trying to make that's negative, cause... That's good. Yeah, um, and, and I wouldn't even say it's naive, it's just like you really don't I'm hate like, people no mind. Yeah, I don't really care about, it. yeah, exactly. So it's just like, maybe people were trying to throw shots at my hair and I didn't even pay attention to it. Like, I had one. You did? Yes. So I wear my wig sometimes, like if my hair isn't styled, I might throw on my wig. One time I wore one of my wigs, and you know, remember me tell you, say, me wear the wig, and the girl said to me, the girl said, oh, what she said? I love you, I love your hair like this. You should keep it like this. I mean, your dreads will work, but this is per, I forgot what she said. I think she said something like, your dreads are oh, your dreads are okay, but I've never seen you like this. And I'm just like, um, I'll take my locks over a wig any day. I'll take my real hair over a wig any day. But thanks for that backhanded compliment. Like, you know, like what? What are you even trying to say? Yeah. Just say, oh, the wig look nice and done and keep it moving. <laughs> yeah. Just say the wig is nice and oh, that's a nice hairstyle or whatever. Yeah. But another time, another person was like, because again, they don't see me in like my wigs or yeah. whatever or outside of work yeah. where I might wear my wigs. They were like, oh, they didn't realize that it was me sitting mm -hmm. at my desk. Mm -hmm. They are like, oh, you look like a different person. I thought this was a different person. Oh, yeah. And then they even asked you when you came by my desk. They were like, what do you prefer? Do you prefer? You oh, remember yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, I remember that. I was that. like. Don't answer that. Mm -hmm. I, don't, I think I told you not to answer yeah. that. Like, what the heck? Wait, get out of here. <laughs> what do you prefer, bro? Like, I wear my hair however I prefer. Yeah, so exactly. What? I prefer her. <laughs> <laughs> was that what you said? Yeah, that was what I said. <laughs> <laughs> I prefer her. Like, telling me, oh, you prefer me in my wig is not a compliment. I don't really care for tell you telling me or anyone for that matter telling me oh you look nicer in a wig that's not a compliment first no, of all that's not a compliment. <laughs> second of all um if i'm wearing a wig it's because i want to yeah because it look good either way so <laughs> i don't know i guess because i'm a dude like for me yeah for you a as a guy i think it's very different yeah experience. it's different Ow. Careful, your mama says new growth. I don't know, there's so much stigma and so much like misconceptions about locks. Oh, if you have locks, your hair is dirty. Um, if you have locks, your locks stink, your locks might stink. Or, first of all, 
since I've had locks. My hair always smells good. For real. My hair always smells good. What I've been doing too, I found a new, um, you know, way to moisturize your hair. Um, just a little water and some, what's the thing there? Peroxide. To cleanse it a little. Yeah. So it's like a little cleanser. Yeah. I, cleanser. Yep. Yeah, so a little cleanser is water to moisturize it and I put some a little peroxide and that will help actually moisturize and cleanse it. And peroxide gives it and it gives it its natural luster sheen. and sheen. So that's what I do anytime my hair start itch. And then like when I first started, I remember when it was the, the whole itching, I'm thinking, all right, let me put oil. But I realized too much oil in your hair makes it your hair it makes it itch more. So I find where I'm not using oil as much. Now everybody's hair is different. Yeah. But for me, I find the less oil, the better because your hair naturally gives out oil. Yeah. Your hair has its natural oil. So when I when I um moisturize is literally mainly just spritz of water not too i don't damp it because then your hair gonna get frowns right that's where, right. Get frowns that's where frown. people get them frowns it frowns yeah 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 because <laughs> them them drench it in our water and then it start getting frowns no yeah mm -mm. just spritz it and then every now and then where's the hair i brought the new hair oil i'm not gonna lie babe what oh i'm feeling this but this um, coconut oil and bao bao. Zooming. Yeah. There we go. So literally, as you can see, look. Not even a lot we, has been used. Yeah. Literally, I just use like a palm size, and then spritz my hair with water, rub it, and then put it in. Hi guys. <laughs> <laughs> We're back. There we go. And we're all pulled out. This is what? 11 months of group. 11 months. And for you, 10 months. 10 months for me, yeah. Let us know some of your routines for the lot. Community. Yes. <laughs> Share some of your tricks. Tell us what y'all do. And yeah. Yeah. If you're getting lots, be encouraged, you know, to just rock your natural hair and just the way God created it, let oh, it grow. This is a nice thick one. Never mind. That, yeah, I have a, a really thick, juicy lock mm -hmm. over here. It's hair, you know. Mm -hmm. Don't stress it. It's just hair. For real. Okay. Yeah. Make sure y'all go hit that like button, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Turn your post notifications on so you get a reminder every single time we upload a video. Yes. We love y'all. Stay blessed.